Hello everybody again, it's Pastor Joyce with Christ the Cornerstone Church here at home. And uh, I know last night was Kids of the Kingdom, but I uh, sometimes think that all of us at Christmas time uh, kind of drift back to those childhood days that we all have. And I was thinking about, you know, how sometimes religion can seem so serious and life is so serious. And sometimes people are like, uh, thinking Jesus was just a serious, downtrodden guy, when in reality, he was filled with joy. Every time he cast out a demon, every time he healed somebody, every time he resurrected somebody, every time somebody came and followed him, any time somebody uh, believed in him, he rejoiced. And so I believe that Jesus had a beautiful spirit about himself. Um, he, people were drawn to him because he, I'm sure he always had a smile on his face. He always had a warm welcome for others and he just didn't take himself or other people all that seriously, particularly the Pharisees, the, the Sadducees, the religious leaders who are so stern and so legalistic and so very often judgmental and so forth. Jesus was nothing like that. Jesus was, is, uh, in my view at least, my knowledge of him, my relationship with him has always been full of joy and happiness and, and good things. And, um, you know, Jesus addressed this in the scriptures even, and that's what the scripture is for tonight. Uh, I think um, all of us could use uh, some more joy in all of our lives, and sometimes we have to get in touch with that child part of us. And um, thus the Tigger on my shirt and my, I have my Winnie the Pooh Christmas tree behind me. Um, you know, I think about the Winnie the Pooh characters very often and you know, poor Eeyore is like, it'll never work out. Oh no, you know, that kind of personality. Then you got Rabbit who's really anxious all the time and got to get it running here, running there, got to get everything done perfectly. And then there's, you know, Pooh, all he wants is a bunch of honey and just whatever. He's like, oh, butterfly, you know, he hangs out with Piglet and they just go on about their merry way through life. Um, and Tigger just bounces along, boing, 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 just comes into, uh, hey, let's have a good time. And so uh, that's what I love about the Winnie the Pooh characters. Um, I see people in that, and I also see myself in that um, very often. I know so much of life lately has been so serious, particularly in 2020. Um, of course, uh, we're not too minimize that. However, there's still joy around us. We still have people that we love and sometimes it's very effective for our own mental well-being, our own mental health to kind of just, you know, put things aside once in a while and just be a kid again. Um, do something that gets our mind off our problems, of course, onto God, but also onto the things that bring us joy. And sometimes it is, you know, those child things, uh, those childlike things, and some people might say childish, but you know, uh, my dad used to sing a song, uh, Young at Heart, and um, I, I remember that part of my dad, how important it is to always be young at heart, and the older I've gotten, um, I still love having fun and having joy, and uh, yes, joy always comes from relationships with other people, and just laughing, laughter is good medicine, and just uh, seeing all the good there really is in our life and to just have a belief and a faith in God that we're going to get through this and you have hope and you always have love and Jesus uh, brings us joy in the moment, different moments of all of our lives. And any given moment of any given day, we can find sparks of joy. And that's what my prayer is all the time, for, especially during the Advent season. That's one of the great gifts Jesus brought and left with us. And so each and every time that, that we grow and we change and, and something good happens in all of our lives, especially when someone meets Jesus and they, they get overjoyed with what that feels like to be um, set free from our bondages, from our past, from hurt, from traumas, from pain, um, any, all the kind of things that you know, bear down on us, we get that joy. And God rejoices with us as well in the same process of that. So there's so many scriptures throughout the Bible about joy. And if you just put it in your concordance, you'll see how many times joy is mentioned in the Old and the New Testament, and especially through Jesus, which brings me to my scripture. I'm getting to it. 
So Matthew chapter 19, it says, Some children were brought to Jesus so he could bless them. The disciples told them not to bother him. But Jesus said, Let the children come to me. Don't stop them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. And he put his hands on them and he blessed them before he left. So the, you know, the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. What does that mean? I look at that to mean that, you know, faith is something and joy is something uh, that, well, faith particularly, you have to believe in something you can't see. You have to look at the scriptures and say, this is real for me and I can see myself on these pages and I see God here, but I also feel God throughout my life in various situations and, and I have reasons to have that childlike faith. What I love about children the most is they believe in the impossible. They believe anything is possible. They ask lots of questions, but they also believe, they take things as face value. And that's what I think Jesus is referring to, that you know, the kingdom of heaven, uh, believing in impossibilities, believing anything is possible, believing in something you cannot see, and just enjoying life. I mean, there's nothing more beautiful than a newborn baby and how they smile at almost nothing, right? They're just, they just laugh and there's that childlike joy. And so that's the kind of Christian I think that Jesus is referring to here. Here these disciples are all about business and like Jesus is too busy for these children, you know, for me to stop and talk with them. Jesus is like, no, bring him over here. Put him on my lap. I'm sure they grabbed at his beard and so forth, right? And he messed with his hair. I, he just loved the fact that they were human beings that, that just enjoyed the moment of being right near Jesus. You know, just enjoying the presence of God uh, and, and this person that they, they didn't know he was a savior or messiah, all these religious terminologies. Uh, they just knew that something drew him to them and it was his love, it was his beautiful spirit, it was his smile and his laughter and his joy. And I'm sure he bounced them on his, on his lap and so many other times and danced with them. Jesus was a, a man who was full of joy because he was full of life. He was full of the goodness of God and he enjoyed every person he ever encountered and he, and he just loved their presence. But we all need a childlike faith, a faith in God that we can believe in, in someone, something you've never seen uh, close up, although I probably think you have seen God, you just don't know it is, you don't always recognize God in those God moments. But needless to say, um, be more like a child. Believe before you see. Think about, you know, if somebody tells you all these awesome things about God, just take it at face value. You know, wow, isn't that cool? Isn't that wonderful? That's who God is, a loving, forgiving, uh, merciful, caring, fun God who enjoys us and who also en is filled with joy when we're filled with joy. God enjoys blessing us. God enjoys the moments of our weddings, uh, of our birthdays, of our celebrations of all kinds, having meals together. He always ate with people all the time and he, and he was around them and just loved being with people. And that's the kind of God I know and that's who I see Jesus on the pages of the scriptures. But more importantly, I see this as ever since I was a young child, um, I had a, a, a faith in God, my invisible friend, uh, that I often talk to um, and, and got answers from, believe it or not, in my heart, in my mind, um, and felt something. Uh, couldn't really say what it was. Um, I, you know, I learned later on that was God with me. Uh, so that's the kind of faith I hope and pray you have. Uh, let's never get too old to stop believing. Let's never get too old to, to wonder about what, what cool things can happen next. Uh, what can I do for God? How can I bless other people? How can I enjoy each other's company more? How can I just go through life bouncing through it, enjoying every moment, even the dark moments? Somewhere in there is something of value to us. And uh, we can learn so much uh, through what we're going through, even now, how valuable people are. And, and certainly we have to enjoy every single moment uh, of all of our lives. And uh, that's what I believe Jesus was saying, let the children come to me. The kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. 
You know, heaven is a place of joy. Heaven is a place of peace. Heaven is a place of love. Heaven is a place that we can have on earth because that was also Jesus's prayer. Let it be on earth as it is in heaven. So uh, I just hope and pray that um, you have a childlike faith, that you begin to trust in God, believe in the impossible, believe in yourself, enjoy every minute of every day as much as you can in the midst of everything else, carve a little fun time out, um, and, and try, to, try to do some things that give you joy. Even if it's, you know, checking out some uh, ornaments that, uh, you know, different... Uh, cartoon characters or whatever the case might be, playing a game, coloring. Uh, do some things that you did as a child sometimes that brought you joy. And you'll, be, you'll, be fi you'll find that uh, you, it'll change your, how you feel. You know, there's darkness, but light always comes into that darkness. And, uh, you know, we have to have the childlike faith that, that these children said, hey, can I hang out with Jesus? And uh, he's like, bring them on, bring them to me. Uh, this, this is what God's kingdom is all about. Um, just, you know, I love children. I love how they can smile at almost nothing and uh, enjoy. You know, you see, you give them toys and stuff like that, and they got pots and pans they play with. Uh, you know, your dog is a good example, or maybe your cat, you know, you're, you, you walk in there, just, it's like the first time they ever saw you, right? And they're just wagging their tail, and the cat comes going around your feet, and so on and so on, just to be with you. That's joy in my book, and uh, we can all uh, be with one another in that way. When you see someone uh, jump for joy, the fact that they're, God bless you to be in their life. So I guess I've said enough about joy. Um, I hope and pray that um, you can have a childlike faith, that you can start to enjoy all the little, big, and medium-sized things in your life. And uh, there's enough Eeyores to go around. And, uh, you know, poor Tigger, what's he doing? Always bouncity, bouncity, bounce, trying to make Eeyore feel better. Well, maybe that's a place where some of us Tiggers fit in. Uh, Jesus loves you. He's a, uh, he's a wonderful, beautiful man of God who was full of joy and enjoyed people, people like you and me. What an awesome gift he, he brought to us all. And, and look at Jesus more that way. Um, he smiles when he thinks about you. He sings songs of joy over you. That's what God feels about you. And I hope you feel that way about God as well. Let's pray. God, we thank you that you give us so many things to find joy in. It's something inside of us, God, that just kind of pops out of us once in a while where we see something and it just makes our hearts skip. And we thank you for that, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are a God who wants to give us enjoyment and joy in our lives so we can have the things that are so wonderful, God, you bestowed so many blessings upon us all, especially the people in our lives, God, who bring us joy by their very being, Lord, and help us each more and more every day, God, to find joy in the little things, the things that you, you put in front of us, God, and help us each have a childlike faith that we can believe in the impossible, to be creative, to try things we never tried before, God, and just help us surprise each other with moments of joy. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Uh, we love you. I hope you enjoy the rest of your night. And uh, we'll see you hopefully Sunday morning at uh, 10 a.m. for our worship service. Um, and um, thank you for uh, watching tonight. I hope and pray that just like those little children, you run and jump on Jesus' lap and just have some fun with him and they're also the people in your life. God bless you. See you again tomorrow night at seven o'clock. Good night.